How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to Pathologic 2, the Marble Nest. Last episode, we woke up, and uh, death told us we had to die, and that the stone yard was fucked, and just a lot of stuff, all right? A lot of shit right at the beginning, all right? But surprisingly easy to digest. Essentially, Daniel here has created a quarantine for the plague that has blocked off the stone yard completely from infection. The problem now lies. Death and the plague taunt me. They fucking taunt me. And now I have to figure out the mystery. I have to find out where the carrier is. Ah, you don't. Young crops will rise soon. Stone flowers. You're a creature of the steppe. Your camp is back behind the cathedral. Go back to your lot. You're a her an herb gatherer, aren't you? You udongs have a special way with the grass and herbs. I know that. You're expecting a ripe harvest here. Special harvest. Marble flowers. Granite flowers. Earth is breathing. Ripe harvest on its way. Don't you have enough herbs in the steppe? Go back to where you belong. If anyone sees you, there's bound to be trouble. As far as I know, the locals aren't too fond of your kind. Eh, I never really picked up on that, personally. Kinda just that, they're weird. Uh, go back to the steppe, man. You don't gotta be here. Uh, shit, what am I doing? Don't wander. Uh, suspicious house in the dusk district. Behind the locked doors, one can hear footsteps. The shop. Oh yeah, and somebody told me to go to the Stillwater and check out Ava again, because, you know, reasons. Ava's important to Daniel, even though I think she's kind of boring. This house looks as though no one's ever lived here. Really? Alright, I, I wanted to look at more of these, too, because I loved it. Well, Gimsky's heir works for the committee so much that I barely see him. Interesting. Any soldier's mask may hide Stock Rubin's face. Oh! That's double interesting. That's very cool. All right, uh, what's the station say? Blocked by the army, makes sense. And station, no one will leave this place. Oof, big oof, Dan. All right, uh, what about the mistresses? Nina's tomb, Victoria's tomb. All right, nothing. Nothing indeed. All right, cool. Let's let's get head out to Aspides. Aspity, Aspity, goddamn walls, goddamn wall. What? What has happened? Eh? The noon has come. Oh. Okay. Are sitting on their hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I would hope so. Don't fucking sit on your hands, you morons. Uh, sup, buddy? Okay, cool. I, I thought you were approaching me. What's up? A masquerade ball will be held in the main square this evening. People want to celebrate our victory over the sand pest. You don't mind? Of course I do. Is this average? Is the, is the average age in this town five? Oh my god. Uh, how about burying your dead first? People want to celebrate my ass. I seem to vaguely remember a very famous story about a masquerade held to ce celebrate a victory over a plague. Remember how it ended? Uh, I don't. <laughs> um, people want to celebrate my ass. My fat ass. Oh, well, where there's carry-on, am I right, boys? Also, are these rose petals? Or are these uh, leaves? I I've kind of just assumed they're the fall leaves, which makes a lot more sense, but I know that they call the polyhedron the rose, so... I was wondering if that was a thing, too. Came here before you, but you may go at first. I need to pluck up my courage. You came for the cure. Are you sick? What's inside? Tonight, Aspidy came here. Sabo Thun, a mother and the mistress of dreams. You're expecting this. Family re- Oh. And you're expecting this family reunion to go less than smoothly, I gather. Indeed. I dreamed of a frightening thing today. Only Aspidy can tell dreams. Dream truths from dream lies. What did you dream of? Dream truths, dream lies, what are you talking about? What a curious coincidence. I also happened to dream of a rather frightening thing today. Thanks for, thanks for letting me cut the queue. I will indeed have a chat with this individual. Yeah, I don't fucking care about your dreams, guy. The suspicious visitor of the house in the dust district, district claim that they've seen a dream teller. Okay, well, let's go say hi to our good friend, Aspidy. Hey girl, hey girl, you were useless. Just kidding, you weren't useless, not at all, but kind of a, kind of very minimal role in the grand scheme. I think I said that already, but it's true. Aspidy, hello, hey girl, uh, and loot your house? Eh, hey, no, I'm an asshole, it's the first thing I do, but what's up? a symbol of blood in the vein, uh -huh. then a thousand gallons in the drain. Hmm. So you're, you're, you're on team nocturnal ending, I'm assuming? Hello, doctor. What did you dream of today? Who are you? I dreamed. I dreamed that an outbreak would happen here today. The plague itself came to me, wearing an orderly's outfit, and gave me time until the evening. No matter. 
It sounds stupid when I say it out loud. I need a dream hook. Try to remember the mood, if only for a second. This is crucial. Then, in your mind's eye, imagine a single detail that seemed pivotal to you. Just don't try to invent anything new. Remember it. Then I'll be able to see your dream as if it were mine. I confronted death, like I always do. They asked me if I was ready to die. I remember you. You were there, my dream, telling me I failed to understand something. Sandplague infiltrated the stone yard. Looked very realistic, too. Don't try and invent anything new. Okay. Uh, death asked me if I was ready to die. I'm missing the point, Doctor. I think you also tend to mix up death and plague, which are not actually the same. You mix up death, death, and death, but they're not the same. You can't even tell death from death. Not the same. How many different words did I use? Forty-something. All of them meaningless. One. Are you telling me they sound different to you? The thing that came to you tonight was death. Not death, as you thought. It wants you to understand why it haunts you. It won't take you in until you do. It's as simple as that. I see. So I was supposed to just accept everything and meekly go belly up. No, if you agree to die without understanding, you will simply cease to exist. I doubt that would be of interest to you. And it'd definitely be pointless to your visitor. It would never do anything unless it has a point. Death literally is the cessation of existence. I've been studying it all my life. I know what I'm talking about. This is precisely why I can't just take you in. You're blind. You don't know the first thing about it. Death is not the end. Not at all. Would you like me to prove it to you? You're a doctor. You'd easily see through any act. Watch me die properly. When it knocks, simply open the door. Alright, let's take a look at your proof. Why would I be convinced by your gimmicks? It's not like you have a degree. Like hell I will. Find yourself someone more gullible. And why would I be convinced by your gimmicks? Because I know how to die properly. You have a weapon. No, I don't. Yes, it's called intelligence. And now it's telling me that you're spewing nonsense. End of story. Fine. See your proof. No, I don't. So what? So what? Oh, she she in danger? She she dead? I mean, what what's going on here right now? I don't know. Oh, she just got on my list. Oh wait. Uh, pawns, pieces, queens. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Dan's so pretentious. Puts people into fucking chess pieces. Damn, son. Part of me is a king. Don't even play me like that. According to the dream teller, death can be proper or improper. She promised to teach me how to die properly. Alright, and behind one of the locked doors is a thing. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't even have to press A. That scared me a little bit. You are far from cowardly, doctor. <laughs> scared me a little bit. Mulish, mulish though. Your head is stuffed with science. Your eyes sewn shut. You will walk this path time and time again until every bit of your resolve wears off. Who are you without it? Who would need you? I don't like being manipulated. Your sermon spell on deaf ears here. Who's behind the door? Death, obviously. It's so nice that it's so well-mannered as to knock. Well, luckily for us, still not locked out. As for you, your place is across the river. Nice to see that it's so well-mannered. wanted to come to this wretched town. Yeah, oh my god, really? I cannot die right now. Whatever waits for me on the other side, I simply can't afford to take risks. Oh. Is this DLC really about just accepting that Daniel's dead as fuck? Yeah, that makes sense. I, I heard this was a demo uh, that came out before. Uh, oh, cool. The original Pathologic, uh, or not the original, but Pathologic 2, good old Artemy route, uh, happened, was the Marble Nest, just to showcase some of the mechanics and the dialogue and the world building and all that, but... Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I wonder if it'll basically land on, well, Daniel, you fucked it. Guess we gotta give Artemy a turn. And now I'm a full executor. Healing, er healing herbs placed inside the beak overwhelm all other smells against disease clouds. All right. Uh, interesting. Oh, I'm a little hungry. Suppose I could eat a can, huh? Yeah, not, not really need to worry about uh, survival too much. I can handle one water bottle. It's life, it's fine. All right, uh, what's next? So I fucked up Aspidy. That's a right shame. Uh, do I have any nuts? Don't got any nuts, so shrew is a no-go. Stillwater or party? 
Let's go fucking break up a party. Doing my best to hurry, Doctor, sir. I really am. Dismantling these bloody things takes time, but we're doing it. Surely they are disturbing. Just, are you dismantling signal fires? Why the hell? Who gave you the order? Um, well, it's not like anyone needs them anymore, sir. It's getting colder by the day. October's at hand. These houses need heating, and the wood is scarce in these parts. With us living amidst a step and all, leave it. I'm telling you. Oh, you worry. It'll get warm in the evening when all the dead bodies will pile up and require moving around. Leave it. I'm telling you. You're indeed a learned, venerable man, sir. Not one to indulge in superstition. But wouldn't be, wouldn't we be croaking disaster if we keep them? Dismantling the unnerving things would be best. It would be as you wish, of course. I'm just following orders. Wish you to stop stepping out of line and prepare yourself for the worst. No outbreak happens by the evening. You'll light it up to celebrate. Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fucking fuck, fuck. Could just be walking into random houses, I guess. Like, the stone yard really isn't that big. I bet, I bet if I just started systematically walking into houses, I'd find the carrier by the end of the day. I mean, but who knows? Who absolutely knows? What's up, buddy? What's going on in this house? This building's off limits, doctor. I was ordered not to let anyone in. It was the precise wording of the order. But I'm the one giving orders around here. The order follows your own instructions, sir. But Captain Longin said, doctor's orders no exceptions, full isolation. Some hothead sneaked in through the back door this morning. Won't ever return. Whatever he may have stolen, he took to the grave. Indeed, the instructions were mine, meaning these orders do not apply to me. Let me in. There's a back door, huh? Let me in! I'm in the captain's bad books already, doctor. One more slip up and he'll do me in. Won't even waste time on a court-martial. Orders are strict and precise. You want to try climbing up the window? Go ahead. Look the other way, but don't ask me to break the chain of command directly. Won't. Scurrying favors, huh? Whatever. Sure. I don't want to get you into trouble. Try the other door. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, indeed. The house is heavily garden guarded. Something's going on in there. Yeah, something's going on in there, indeed, huh? What's up, dick nose? Inspecting the site, Doctor? There's no one here. One civilian got in, and in he stayed. He shouted and shouted and shouted, and then he didn't. Where is everyone? What's in there? Must be something scary inside. Perhaps the tenants found it? I don't know. Hence me asking, are you here to inspect the place? Indeed. I'm afraid I've found the thing I was looking for. Keep your watch and stay alert. Constant vigilance, remember? Indeed. Sure. Why not? I guess. I was going to a party, but that seems unnecessary now. This house is heavily guarded. Yeah. Hey, reflection. You need to look it in the eye. Face to face. What? How did you get in here? You the looter? What? To dance with death, you need to face it. Death is a beast of prey. Never turn your back on it. Not it perfectly well. We're locked in! I don't think they'll let us out! What shall we do? Uh, I know that perfectly well. Listen, if you can hear it, that means it's close. It means you must muster up your courage and look it in the eye. Then it will freeze. For a while. You get a chance to move forward. You must, be with, you must be deranged with fear, kind sir. What in the world are you talking about? Does this house have a second exit? Bravo. Turns out defeating death is really simple, and here I was, wasting years on this challenge. Uh, what in the world are you talking about, kind sir? Only brave children believe that the monster won't touch them if they hide under the pillow. That won't save you. Do not deny the obvious. Do not turn your back on it. Never have. You don't understand. I was speaking literally. No metaphors. Face death. Don't turn your back to it. Find yourself. Waste no time. Indeed. Re I'm rather short of the ladder. All right, take a look around. Jesus. Jesus. What, 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 what? Oh, don't fucking do that. Oh, don't make sounds like that. That is mean, Candle. I'm expecting thing. What? No, 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 it's in here. I saw the fucking lentigine. Where, where, where? Motherfuckers, I know it's not a lentigene, but that's what I called it. Fucking asshole. Where the fuck are you, death? Damn tragedy. Whatever. Where are you, sly fuck? Eh? Eh? They're alive. Hey! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, it's my immunity goes down. Shit. Shit, buddy. Give me your key. Give me your key. Hey! Fuck off! Fuck off! Ab all of you! Oh, Jesus. This is a little much. 
It's a little strange. Not gonna lie to ya. What the fuck's with the lentigenes? Uh, should I even waste time looting? Stop it. Stop it. I'm looking at you. That's right, fuckers. Don't... Oh. Don't turn your back on death. Literally. Alright. Aha! They'll never infect me! You fucking fools. I know your lentigene game. Uh... What am I doing here? I'm, I'm realizing now, this house could just be fucking totally empty. Alright, uh... What? Oh, don't make noises, please. Oh, stop it. Oh, fucking stop it. Oh, fucking stop it right now. Fuck, I hate it. I hate the scratching! No! Get out of here! Fucking asshole. Fucking... <sighs> Such a sassy goddamn zoo. Do you think that's appropriate? Do you think that's okay? Holy shit. It is really... Really trying to catch my ass, huh? No. Fuck off. Okay. Gotta be something in here. Gotta be something in here. Okay. Open. Open. Thank you. I guess. Broken ampules. God. This place sucks. Where? Fuck you. Fuck. Alright. I think it's time to leave. I think it's time to get the fuck out of here. Don't think there's much else to find. Eh. Stay don't. <laughs> Stay don't in. Alright. I won't do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, don't turn your back. Don't whisper. Don't whisper to me. Shut up. Hey, box. Recently stopped. The original owner has most likely died. I'll take that. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that, huh? Well. Oh. Huh. Okay. So. Yeah. I'm totally not confused. Wait, all these aren't looted anymore? Huh. Raisins. I'll take the raisins. Absolutely. Strange. Very, very strange, this house. I don't trust this house. Literally the carrier house, but I don't know what I should do about it. Ah. Uh, well, waypoint's gone, but I don't I don't care. <laughs> I feel like there's more here. Something I'm missing. Where's Death Strategy in? Come on. I, I don't I don't believe you. And the writing's gone. Interesting. Uh there's more things in the drawers and stuff, too. Hmm. Something tells me my fellow traveler is having a little bit of fun at my expense. I'm not gonna lie to you, but... Hey, buddy! Oh. Well. Glad that your job was so important you could leave it instantly. Anyway, let's go to the party. Uh... Alright, whatever. We'll keep it in mind. Oh, yeah. That can't go that way. Makes sense. Alright, you gang of fucking dinguses. What the hell? Who the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Who the hell do you think you fucking are? Eh? You! Orderly, orderly in chief. I can't believe my eyes. Is that so? Why? Same here. What are you doing here? Why have you all abandoned your duties? According to our papers. Wait, one moment, please. I'll find the precise... Ah, oh, here it is. After a short burst of fever, having woken up from anxious dreams, Bachelor Daniel Dankolsky passed away in his own bed. Yesterday, after nine o'clock. He's the only known victim of the sand plague. Signed by me, right? Because if it isn't, that means you're way out of line executing random orders. Sounds like nonsense. In any case, you can burn this paper. Huh. Sounds like nonsense. In any case, you can burn this paper. Nope. Legal paperwork. Legal paperwork my ass. Where did it even come from? This guy's voice is super inconsistent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Since your untimely demise, Bachelor, Judge Georgi Kane has become our direct supervisor. He cancelled your quarantine measures, ordered a ceasefire, so to speak. Now listen to me. The threat is still very much present. Moreover, I'm quite positive that there is a carrier in the stone yard. Get back to work. You're talking in this vein and ish dirt. Your demise, that will be untimely. Not according to the papers, mind you. Shoot you with my own hand. Get back to work. I don't know. According to the judge's orders, there's nothing more to be done here. And in the case of Bachelor Dankovsky's death, the judge is the only person whose orders I'm supposed to follow. Here, see? Got it all in writing. Legal stuff. How about getting your peepers open, you cretin? Here I am, alive, right in front of you. Oh, you got it all got it all in writing. Obviously, that means that nothing humanly possible can be done here. How silly of me. Here I am, alive, right in front of your face. I don't know what you're talking about. I got it all in writing. Anyone can impersonate Bachelor Dankovsky. As for me, I'm just standing my watch as an official representative. The judge is unwell. He's raving. I'm telling you, this is a doctor. I just paid him a visit. Get back to work at once. Do the rounds and send me, send one of your people to me as an assistant. Sorry. Fine. You've convinced me. Well, since I'm dead, it's within the scope of your responsibilities to attend my place personally to oversee the funeral. 
someone will have to take care of the bodies when the worst happens. Ah, someone will have to take care of the bodies when the worst happens. Do your fucking job either way, bitch. Alright, the orderlies have registered me as among the deceased. Someone will pay for the sick joke. Yeah, I I'm probably not, though, Daniel. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. No one's probably gonna pay for that. I think, I think... Yeah, I think, I think I'm slowly coming to realize that they are incredibly correct in that you're just doomed. You just, you just can't do this, Dan. Sorry, you need Artemy. Without Artemy, you're fucking worthless sack. But somebody uh, in the comments gave a really good point. Like, maybe uh, without Artemy, Daniel's a worthless sack. But without the Daniel and my Artemy story, I would have been a worthless sack. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten the fund. I wouldn't have gotten the rewards. I wouldn't have had the hospital to cut people open. I mean... Ultimately, none of that really assisted in finding the panacea, which, you know, Dankovsky actively said was a bullshit ideal, you know, utopian, saying bullshit ideal anyway. It's just, it's just interesting. It's interesting. Clearly, like, everyone has their own basis to this, but Artemy seems like the most important key turn here. <laughs> oh, really? What happened? I uh, can't take your rifle? That sucks. What happened? Nothing to see here, Doctor. It's all over. Shame you weren't here earlier, but nothing to be done now. Damn. I don't care, I was just passing by. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember that time? Yeah, you remember that time. I don't even have to say the time that you remember. I know you remember it. Uh, this house is guarded. Really? Oh, fuck, man. Fuck, man. I have to- Fuck. It's kind of stressing me out now. It's it's kind of stressing me out. Like, fuck, what do I do about this house? What, what, what do I do about this house? You. Finally, you're here, Doctor. I just sued a bunch of children away. They tried to sneak in. I sneezed. I sneezed. I seized lockpicks from them, too. Didn't find the heart to shoot, sir. Forgive me. They're just children, after all. Lockpicks? You insane? Bloody hell, I never ordered to shoot kids. Well, sir, kids often ferret about empty flats. The owners of this house were evicted. Here, sir, the two lockpicks I confiscated. I've still got more. I'll never back off. You know what I'm talking about, sir. I was just like that myself. Hand him over. Why were the residents of the house evicted? For some reason, people from the Crucible came by. Told them to vacate the premises. I don't know, sir. I was only assigned to this duty this morning. I dismissed, sir. Yes, get the fuck out of here. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Oh, I don't have lockpicks? Then why did he say he gave me lockpicks? I will murder you. Give me my lock... Mm. Mmm, you're a real helpful, helpful scamp, you know that, <laughs> soldiers. I was gonna say something else, but you know what? I decided against it. Oh. Oh, yeah? Okay, we'll, 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 we'll attack on you. All right, Ava, don't worry about it. Can you hear them? What? The voices. Must be in the mansion. No, nothing. Must have been leaves. Why did you come here? Camp is in the step behind the cathedral. I used to live in this house, you know. It's where I stayed when I came to your town a week ago. At Avion's, I know. And then she died. Do you know why? I do. Because of me. Well, she didn't succumb to the sand pest. She committed suicide. Jumped from atop your bloody cathedral. Jesus Christ. You're mistaken. Ava is alive. She committed suicide. Oh, Jesus. Ava. You can't do that. <laughs> that really, really gets on my, my jumpy jumps. Oh, that right. Wasn't the plague that took Ava? Okay, well, that's neat. See ya. Is that, uh, I think it's just backwards. I think she's just all backwards. Should I stay in the water? Oh, I get it, the still water. Ha, Ava? Yeah? Okay. Well. Eh. Eh? Whatever you say. Okay. Uh, it's, it's all backwards speech. Can't understand shit. Have you considered going to a fortune teller? To learn your fate, maybe even see you tomorrow. Palmistry, tarot, reading entrails? I don't appreciate obscuritism. It's obscurantism. No, never. Remember Macbeth? No. These kinds of people always try to astonish the audience by predicting the death of date. In my case, they'd be mistaken. Any help or advice would be appreciated now. Even that from an ogre or her, her respects. Hmm. Now, remember Macbeth? A mind performance is being staged in front of the cathedral. A tragic one. 
The actors are not unexpectedly quite silent, but if you manage to get one to talk. Tragic performance that will predict my fate. Sounds reassuring. Tragic, huh? Indeed, it must be hard to watch the local attempts at drama without weeping. Uh, sounds reassuring. Don't worry, you're like it. Like I would worry about some backwater theater. If they return the money if the audience hasn't experienced catharsis. Like I would worry about some backwater theater. Jesus Christ, what an asshole. There's something strange going on at the Bridge Square. Cool. I like strange things going on at the Bridge Square. Um. Uh, I think giving Sticky the nuts was a very big mistake. Should have gave him a shrew. Really should have just accepted death from the beginning, because clearly that's that's the <laughs> that's the idea here. Okay. Let's go see a pantomime though. And I'm sorry about the inconsistent voices with this DLC. It's just that when you when you're able to voice a lot more people and they have more things to say, like I, it's just hard. It's hard for me to keep it consistent. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just a big dingle brain. Alright. <laughs> What's going on, boys? Let's take a watch. Alright. Go. Alright, so he tears out his heart. It's beating. Oh, it's beating. And he's clapping. Yeah, look at it beat. It's incredible. It's beating heart. And then he lets the heart fly away. He says goodbye. And he takes a bow. All right. I can't say I understand, Tragedian. I'm going to be honest. Here comes Bachelor Dankowski, the man who failed to defeat death. How do you know? We know all about you. We know what you did yesterday and what you're going to do tomorrow. Really? Well, what did I do yesterday? What am I going to do tomorrow? If you're so smart, kindly what I'm doing now. Now? Making a fool of yourself by talking to a fool about his foolish endeavors and engaging in various tomfoolery, wasting priceless droplets of time. We have very little of the latter left, by the way. Have our days been numbered by ourselves? Or at ours? You are nothing but a fool. Mine were numbered by me, written down neatly, and are now kept in perfect order. Hello. Oh, you're anything but a fool. Everything will be decided this evening, Excellency. A terrible appointment is in store for you. You will not emerge from it victorious. Indeed, we do know the key to victory, but alas, it will be a no of no use to Bachelor Dankowski. Why's that? Only a man with an open heart can overcome such a adversity. I'm sorry. An adversary! Jesus Christ, double I'm sorry. I've already taken heart. Taken a heart, I mean. Undoubtedly an open one. Oh, Excellency. What a sordid sight. Sorry for underestimating you. You definitely ha do have, how shall I put it, a creative touch. With his pure madness, you can't take things so literally. Look too fitting to be a coincidence. Come now, Excellency. Come now. Do you think this is some sort of a game? Even if it is, it most certainly is not played by your rules. The game is a cage, and if you fail to break out of it, you lose. You know what we're talking about. This cage is called life. I'm in no hurry to break out of it. You promised to help me out with this evening's appointment. You just did. Very fitting coincidence indeed. Please be so kind as to explain clearer. I mean that thing you said about games and cages. Never agree to play a game if you don't understand its rules. Stakes are too high. The stakes are too high. If you already have, challenge and change those rules, Bachelor Jankowski. Challenge and change. Thank you. I'll think it over. You're being what? Don't tell me that. I don't like that. What did you give me for that shit? Go thirty. Protective footwear helps one rise above their troubles and the poisoned earth. <laughs> what? What? So okay. What? A terrible appointment awaits me this evening. No matter what, one shouldn't play by the rules. Not even the rules of this very game. Hmm. I misinterpreted the tragedians. Good. Great. I have a heart now. Perhaps tragedians would like to have a look. Tragedians believe that I have no heart. Great. Great. So good. So, so good. So awesome. All right. Well, I got shoes now. I got shoes, tragedians. Used to fucking clip-clop my goddamn clip-cloppers all the clip-clop and away up the clip-clop. That's me. Hey, guys. Children are asleep. All is quiet. Good. Be relieved of your duty soon. What children? Yeah. The children in the tower over there. Several hundred. No entry. Who's in charge of their well-being? They fed. Provided water. What a tower? Oh. Tower full of children. right -o. How could I forget? Who's in charge of their well-being? Are they fed? Provided water? No one reports that to us. At ease. 
Yeah, it is, boys. Mm. Mm. I want it. It's fine. It's fine. Now what? I guess I can go back there. Go back to Shrew. Uh, epidemic people. I don't think they have much to do or say or be or exist. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, this is a group of fucking amazing people. Oh, my God. You look disgusting. Disgusting is the wrong word. Just dying. Doctor, would you mind settling an argument of ours? You are, after all, an outsider in this town. With a clear head and a fresh outlook. We've been arguing over the reasons for the Sand Plague outbreak. You would, of course, agree that it happened in this particular town for a reason, wouldn't it? Could have happened anywhere. Indeed, I don't believe in random chance. As a matter of fact, this town is nothing but a machine, produced to challenge the limits of human potential. And our ideas of how people connect to each other, for a relationship with nature. For more than a century, the three families ruling us have been running such experiments on the local population. You found yourself in a utopia. Death is a limit, unjustly imposed upon men. Humanity has long outgrown it. So what exactly were you arguing about? You have better things to do. Your job is to keep ta tabs on anything alarming. Don't tell me nothing suspicious happened overnight. Believe otherwise. Get yourself together, people. Mobilize all forces. As for the relationship with nature, you're rebelling against it. No wonder it pushes back. Step people live as though they're in a primeval time reverse, like stone axes have yet to be invented. Or shipping bulls, talking to herbs. They don't even have a real language. It's all bull bull this and gur gur that. And yet for some reason, we allow them here. What's wrong with that? There are many peoples on this earth untouched by civilization. They do have a language, and a rather beautiful one at that. What about the sacrifices? I'll have you know they still make those. It's simply wrong to entangle different ages within the same space is all. Their age is different. Our time is broken. It's crippled, Bachelor. They've come from the past, so release them. Let them return to the earth they hold dear. Let them leave. Someone holding them here. Ah, uh, yes. Sacrifices. Please send a soldier squadron to the camp behind the cathedral. I want it burnt to ashes. Holy shit. Sacrifices. It's a nuptial ceremony of theirs. And they have a point. Uh, is someone holding them here? Someone is. Our rulers. They've embedded the steppe people into this town, carved them into its warm flesh. This isn't a, this isn't a town, it's an honest-to-god minotaur. A chimera. And chimeras have remi remarkably short lifespans and bad health. You breed a snake and a crane? Can, yes, but the progeny won't live long. Chimera, huh? You make a good point. I have no idea how far interbreeding can go. I know a thing, uh, thing or two about living organisms. Take my word for it. You ever seen a mule? This is an impossible town, Bachelor. Just can't have your cake and eat it. Can't mix oil and water. Can't connect similarly charged magnet poles. Rather, you can, but only by force. As soon as that force falters, it's all going to be shredded to pieces. We're abusing nature. You need a sociologist, not a medical scientist. Not sure biological principles are applicable here. Not for the rebellion against the nature. You still wouldn't be able to use fire. Ah. Uh... You need a sociologist, guy. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the man. At your service, bachelor. Stay vigilant. You need to set up a spare hospital in any ordinary house. Arrange for beds and other necessary equipment to be delivered there. You know the drill. Stay vigilant. That's the wrong decision. You? Well, I think it's because of the polyhedron. Gravity-defined tower the children play in. This day, I'm confused how it's supported. Balanced, somehow? Not much of an engineer. Say your children found a republic inside. Why do you hate your own youth so much? An impressive attempt to defy the law of gravity. Why do you hate your own youth so much? History already knows an example of people trying to erect an impossible tower. Ended in tragedy. It's not history, it's myth. However... Your edifice looks complete. Uh, looks complete. You believe in God, Bachelor? What an unexpected twist of the conversation. Do you believe the epidemic to be a punishment from God? No, I don't. It may come as a surprise to you, but I do. Well, I don't know, Dan, but I don't. There's only one thing I'm certain of. If this was an ordinary common as Blackberry's town, there'd be no but outbreak. Would have been something equally common and ordinary. The cholera, pox. May well be right. Scientifically, this is called the butterfly effect. Was hawk non propter hawk? No mixed correlation and causation. Well, but, uh, <laughs> he's totally right. You know, it's it's kind of a problem, uh, Daniel. You need to let go of the tower. But as for me, Doctor, I'd say it's simple. Men must not be remodeled or altered, even if they request it themselves. Pitied, yes, but not altered. What's wrong with men, anyway? 
We have so little time on the Earth that it's barely possible to scratch the surface of what we are, let alone explore humanity fully. Man is infinite. Contrary, man is far too finite. Exactly. Too little time. Which is exactly why we should fight death. What does that have to do with the pandemic? Exactly. We have too little time, which is exactly why we should fight death. I don't know. I only feel that this is the root of the problem. It wasn't we who designed the world like this. I believe in men, Doctor. Superhumans, I do not. Certainly life wouldn't fit them. The mortals have no place in the world of the living. It's just how it works. Take from it what you will. Some fervor. Well, not as absurd a line of thinking as it seems at first glance. Yeah. I mean, you got a point. You do got a point. Uh, yeah, but, uh, take day-to-day -day concerns, too. Well, I guess I could tell them to set up a hospital and stuff in a random house, but... You know, something tells me they're gonna set up the random fucking hospital house up in the goddamn house where shit is fucked, so, no. Absolutely not. Goddamn tragedians. Alright. Alright, well, I can... Hmm, I have flats now. Not flats, actually the exact opposite of flats. Helps rise above trouble and poisoned earth. Where is some poisoned earth, baby? That's what I need to see. Eh. What's up, kids? Uh, any kids? No. Oh, shit. Oh, Sticky's here still. Sticky and Dandy and all the boys. What's up, Sticky? Just don't tell Shrew I warned you, right? We're good friends, actually. As if you warned me of something important. Wouldn't be able to explain your babbling to anyone even if I wanted to. The only thing that made sense in your story was that you kids are all starved for nuts. Do you have any bandages left or any other useful supplies? Help me out, my faithful squire. Uh, as if you warned me of something important, you fucking stupid kid. I'm Daniel Dinkowski, you're a moron. Uh, anything else? Yeah, okay, nah, just don't tell Shrew. Okay. Well, I didn't tell Shrew, but Shrew is quite angry. Quite, quite, quite pissed anyway, right? Yeah. What's up, girl? It's not like I don't feel sorry for you. Perhaps I'll even deign to help you after all, but I'll never ask you for help again. No, sir. It's dangerous outside. You should all go home. Look at this guy, boys, huh? Still thinks we're standing outside somewhere. Chop, chop. Oh, wait, no. Didn't consider that. There's no need to leave. Ah, fuck. Oh, wait. What? All right, true. Why did you do that? Why did you go ahead and do that? Oh, well, that's nice of you. What can I say? I mean, it's pretty kind, isn't it? Oh. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna rob your house first, honey. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I mean, half, half the survival mechanics are just not a thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my God. No. Open the fucking door. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God, oh my fucking god. Shrew. Shrew, give me a fucking thing, please. No, 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 you were supposed to shit. Shit. Fuck ass. Fuck ass, fuck ass, fuck ass. Uh, oh. It's because that's the wrong door. But the right house. Okay. Odd. Very odd. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I fucked it. Fucked it by giving up the nuts to Sticky, didn't I? So I could heal the Odung and get the heart. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck. I mean, again, part of me feels like there just it really isn't a good, uh, good way out of this. And that Daniel's more or less boned, but I don't know. Huh. I haven't seen Maria in the upper town for two days. We can't find her. Jesus. All right. Shit. Well, fuck. Am I just fucked then? Am I just boned? Can't get a lockpick? Sticky? Uh, any bandages left? I, I don't fucking know. No. I don't need any of that. I need, mm, I need True to stop being such a baby. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Well, uh, townsfolk look upon this house with wariness. Well, that's fine. Dusk one. See, that's so strange. Neck three. Dusk one. Fucking, uh, a little pretentious. All right, Daniel, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie to you. There seems to be no necessity. Uh, anything, Aspidy? Oh, wait. Aspidy's just not here anymore. Well, <laughs> guess. Guess that worked out, right? No, no, it didn't. Uh, sticks? That's nice. Fuck. I'm- I'm aimless. I'm fucked. The new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. I hate you. I hate that you say that shit. I wanna go see it. Also, there's a kid's cash up here, right? Yeah. 
Maybe there's something. Maybe there is indeed something. Nope, it's not even up here. Damn, Daniel doesn't even have the kid's game. Keep him fucking sane. What a shame. That all kind of rhymed. Pretty proud of it. Well, this is my life now. Daniel Dankowski, signing off. Just kidding. Just kidding all the way down to Kidding Town. Oh my god, could I... Do you think I could break this game? <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I'm sure I can't, but do you think I could jump into the Gorkin from here? I don't know. I could try, but it would not be very <laughs> worthwhile or thematically makes sense. Probably parkour to that roof, too, but, you know, Daniel's too... Not cool enough. He's just not parkour enough. Let's be honest. Hey, bud. No, nothing. Fuck. I don't know what to do then. Maybe I could set up the hospital, but I really don't want to do that. It seems like a thing I don't want to do. So maybe I should just start walking in random houses. Oh, I can't. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Hmm. 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 Footsteps can be heard from Victor Kane's house, even though I've personally declared him clinically dead. Jesus. Huh. I'm confused. I am a confusion ball. Like, is the idea that I have to go all the way back to my save to talk to Shrew, straight the nuts, and not, you know, fuck that whole thing up? Because I guess I could do that, it's just... I don't know. It's not very... fun. It's not very rewarding. Uh, it seems like the wrong way to use these mechanics. And again, this, this DLC, quote-unquote, came out before the original game as, like, a, a, a playtest for the game's mechanics, so I kind of understand it being not as mechanically sound or interesting, but really, it seems odd. It seems like that's just not right. Like, Pathologic is not the game that says, you got the wrong answer. Fuck you. You know, you can do a lot of things in pretty much a, just a lot of different ways. I don't know. I don't know. It would make sense that you couldn't do that in, like, a microcosm of its game design, though, so... There's that. Anything, Georgie? Yogi, my bad. No. Alright, that's neat. Maybe I could check on Maria. Are the fairies running? Nope. No udong. Oh, what's up, buddy? Got something to say about this? Nah. You should. You chef definitely should. Oh, one's all fucked up. Huh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's just the water droplets. I thought it was a fish. Can we talk about how fucking pretty this game is? I mean, they, they, like, Ice Pick Lodge did not have to make this game look this great. Like, they, they really fucking didn't. I mean, they're a small studio. Fucking... People were expecting... I don't know. I, none of that. None of that shit. Just, they're a small studio, and the game looks fucking incredible and plays incredible. And I just love them a lot. I just respect them a lot. We're going the distance. Goddamn Victor. Can I hear your footsteps? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> Alright, uh, cathedral people? Maybe... Maybe you're good? <laughs> good? I don't fucking know. Man, I just have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a little aimless, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, Palos. Nothing... Fucking nothing, really? Cathedral stopped. Well, hey. Hey, you get down from there, you little son of a bitch. Hey. Come on, man, that's in bad ta- Oh, okay, I thought you killed another tragedy, and I was like, what the fuck? Why would you do such a thing? But, no. No, indeed. Alright, what's up, chief? Blessed is the dead who thinks he is alive. I hurt their idea. It would be cr too cruel. You're a wise man, bachelor. If they want to live through this evil day again and again, we will be to rob them of their bliss. Chance to take non-existence for existence. Perhaps, perhaps this place gives more, them more food for thought than the outside. Didn't come here to indulge in philosophizing, you buffoon. Just did what had to be done. Not wise, just diligent. I just wanted them to stay here. So that, you know, things couldn't get possibly more fucked up. I just don't see how that's not bad. Though, perhaps them being here in the first place fucked it up, but... Hmm. I guess that wouldn't make sense, huh? I mean, Aglaia took one step in the cathedral, and the cathedral was like... Bruh, <laughs> I don't like that girl. I do not like that woman. We're going fast as shit today. And, uh, yeah. Can't imagine how it would react to hundreds of people. See? Wheel. Wheel. And, uh, doesn't seem to be any spokes or such. Nah. Well, okay. Whatever you say, Marble Nest, but I must say, I am quite confused. Oh, that's neat. 
Did you see that? Hang on. Turn my ass back and forth. You open the door, everything's frozen. And then it slowly turns back. That's awesome. I love that. I whip my toast back and forth. I don't need to eat toast. I don't need to eat shit. Um. Well, damn it. Absolutely damn it. I don't know what to do. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I could use my uh, doctor people to bust open that door. Be like, here, go set up the hospital in neck whatever. And then they do it and find the infected people. That could work, right? Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, we need to set up a spare hospital in any ordinary house. Arrange for beds and other necessary equipment to be delivered there. You know the drill. Really, doctor? You must be overworked. What for? Stoneyard is clear. We should know. And in any case, it's not possible. All residential houses are overcrowded with healthy refugees from across the river. God damn you! How about the place that I'm staying at then? It's otherwise vacant. Where does our command? Good. As for you, stay here and stay alert. Been keeping watch all night long. Someone else take the next, sh next shift. More? More to say. Wretched service, bachelor. Stay vigilant. Oh, no. Well, that didn't help me at all. That didn't help me at all. That's great. Fuck. Fine. Teach me. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to fucking internalize. All right? You stupid, sassy bastards. Come on. Come on. Show me the show. Hit me. You little fucks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Beating heart. Rip it out. There it is. He's like, bruh. Nice job. It's incredible. And he's like, look. Look at my heart. It's awesome. And now it's gone. I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking gather from that. Just tear out my heart? Or is, are they saying that I am heartless? Oh, is that really the thought? Is just to fight fucking... Whatever. Whatever. It was just <laughs> deciphering the tragedy and fucking... Mime for me. That's a little sad, but it's okay. All right, well, I have nothing else to do. Might as well fucking listen to a girl lament about being dead in backward speech, right? Uh, I don't have a lockpick. I don't have a lockpick. I don't have a lockpick. That's like the one fucking thing that really fucked me here. Anyone else? Hey, what's up, pal? What do you got to say about the still water? Kind of, sir. Fairy godfather. Can I call you godfather now? What are you talking about, old man? I'm young enough to be your son. Please don't. My relations to the local people are purely professional. But it makes sense. He took us in, sheltered us, ordered to bring the sick to your own house, to close the eyes of the dying with your own hand, give them final solace with your own prayer. It's not my house, it's a temporary residence. As for the sick, I was driven by rational considerations. Simpler this way. I truly hope I won't have to close anyone's eyes. And my own hand will offer the patient's broth and oats. Rational considerations. Simpler this way. Thank you. Thank you. They say you don't have a heart, but I always knew that you do. Exquisite compliment indeed. If only you knew, old man. Alright. <laughs> nice. Just let me in, Ava. Come on. Let me in! Damn it. I'm your best friend, though. I'm your best friend. It's me, Dan. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you talk backwards, I get it. You don't do shit, Ava. This is kind of what I mean, all right? Oh, your max, the max amount of your intrigue is the fact you exist. It's like, who fucking cares? Oh, I don't care that Ava exists. Oh yeah? You don't get sassy with me, Ava, all right? You're the one who burned the goddamn duck when I told you specifically to cook the duck to precise fucking specifications, all right? It was you that did that. And now, here we are. How dare you? How dare you say such fucking foul mouth things to me? Ava! You, get in your room. Oh, hey. uh, I guess you're in your room forever, aren't you? I have to... Yeah, always need the last word, don't you, Ava? Always need to feel smart, right? Fuck you. Shut up. You shut up. I'm going to the kin where people like me. <laughs> Shut up, Ava! Again, not trying to minimize suicide, but Ava is really uninteresting. What's up, kin people? Anything? Nah. Nah, just reveling over your marriage still. It's great. It's great. You fucked that up. You, you fucked it so hard. Oh my god. 
RDB would be crying right now. Is that Nera? Like, it, 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 like she was fucking clean. Baby clean when Artemy did this shit. Okay? You see the mess you've made. Eh. You guys are fucked. You guys are fucked. Maybe I should have just killed you. I mean, it would have been easier. <laughs> God damn it. I like how I went through like 60 hours of the Haru specs being like, no, the, the solution can't just be to kill the kin. And now, like, two hours as fucking Daniel. I'm like, Fuck it. Maybe it'd be better to just get him off the planet already. <laughs> uh, it's a little fucking crazy. Anyone at the bell? Good old bell? Nah. Nah. Hmm. Really am confused. I am more, more or less just wandering around. Like, don't know exactly what I can do because I can't get a lockpick from goddamn Shrew and I can't, you know, murder everyone. <laughs> Which is definitely what I do when I resort to not knowing what the fuck to do, like... Huh. Yay! I'm here! My name sure is Dankovsky. Uh... Seriously, what do I do? Do I have to just go back and... Say, hey, Shrew, fine, take the nuts. I don't know. I don't know. Everything feels wrong. Everything feels off. Do I have a bed anywhere? No, I don't have a bed. I do have an exhaustion bar, I just don't know if it actually goes down. Okay. Alright. Just gonna be honest, I'm getting a little... little bored, wandering around this town, doing absolutely fucking nothing. Hey bud, what do you call the person who first announces that the epidemic's curbed and then immediately steps up hospital in their very house? Call such a person vigilant and considerate. Brave. Call him human and thus capable of making mistakes. For example, now, just ha now he mistook you for a decent person. Farewell. Call such a person diligent and considerate. And I'd call them a two-faced viper who fed people false hope. Let us rejoice then. No one asked for your opinion. It's better to take hope away when catastrophe looms than to cling to illusions, leading everyone to their graves. No. It is not. Whatever. Uh. No. No, no, no. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're the kind of asshole who would be like, Clara's going to save me! And then... You know, Clara goes to Artemy and says, Save my fucking parents, Artemy. I don't know what to do, and I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Fucking candle stubs, fucking garbage. Uh, fuck, man. Guess let's go check our house. Maybe it's a hospital now? I mean, yeah, I said so. I did. I said so, so. Hopefully it's done. Hey, you doing? You got more to say? That's nice. Super cool. The air is changing. Give it. The smell is changing. Touch it. Something bad is brewing right here. Do you feel something odd? What is it? You by chance. Out of it? Delirious, perhaps? Can't make out what you're saying. You feel something odd? What is it? Look closely. Listen closely. Where are the flies flying? Where are the rats rattling? Where is new life germinating? Soon it begins. Hate fear mongers, you know? It's definitely not a fear monger, my guy. It's just... <laughs> Factually correct. Orderly number 12. Arrived here at your behest, Doc. I was there by the fire. Is the jerk clearly still alive? Who cares what the legal papers say? It's not like I can read anyway. You're the chief orderly. This is the first time in my life that I can appreciate the usefulness of illiteracy. On our cloak, though, aren't you afraid of the infection? I am, Doc, but I need my hands free. Whatever, it's too late now, anyway. You're out of line, number 12. If you leave this house, you'll have to put it on. Put your shit on, number 12! God! And you just fucking have the audacity to die right in front of me. Goddamn number 12. <laughs> okay, so hospital hasn't been set up yet. That makes sense. Okay. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be honest. Just don't know what to do. And I'm getting a tad bored. My ADD brain is not being properly smushed together. Alright? Alright? It was very engaging. Being in hell. But now I feel like I'm in hell, but... Nothing I do matters unless I do the very specific right thing. Which is odd. Well, okay. In any case, this is not a hospital anymore. Let's get out of here. Bye-bye. Uh... Hey. <laughs> I'm here now? Like, do I just stand in one fucking place and wait for the next goddamn time to come? Like, this is kind of ridiculous. Or am I expected to go back all the way to when I traded Sticky those nuts the first time to get a lockpick from Shrew? Because that seems equally fucking silly. Like, what? <laughs> Am I missing something? Am I just a dingus? 
freaking jingle dingus that just is an idiot? Like, I don't know. Seems odd. Maybe there's more in this house? Let's check it out, I guess. Maybe there's a lockpick, right? Gotta be honest. It's kind of giving me a headache. This shit is really boring. Lockpick? Scissors. Well, it's not a lockpick at all. Anyone? No, this was the, the, the coffin house. Okay. Oh, with the pocket watch. Can I do anything with that? No. Recently stopped. The original owner died. Helps one rise above their troubles and the poisoned earth. So you're telling me to try to wander into the infected districts, perhaps? I guess that wouldn't do a thing. That would be a something to fucking do, so let's do that. Guess I could have done that hours ago, but I, it's because I'm fairly fucking positive that I can't. I, it's just a no-go. It's just not gonna happen. Been told today that there's no commanders left. General Block was killed, Longin took the lead. I'd say that Longin is also dying. All the officers are across the river. So who you, who issues orders? The victims on your watch. Uh, well, the perimeter was breached a couple of times. Not as badly as the day before yesterday, but still. Forbidable attempts. It was shooting. What else is there to say? Yeah, what else is there to say indeed? How many were killed? How should I know who's dead and who's wounded? Stop twisting the knife, doctor. It's an inspection. They wrote it all down. Go bother them. Well, where the fuck are the inspectors? How should I know? Across the river, perhaps, or in that cathedral of yours, where you gather suspicious people. We, on the other hand, gather no one. Ordered to shoot on sight. I ordered no such thing. Who did, then? Everything that happens, Doctor, is attributed to you. Everything. Okay. Uh, let me in. <laughs> let me in! Death reigns here. Alright. Fuck. And the living are here. All right. Hmm. Hmm. What is a wanna meant to do then? What is a wanna meant to do? Dream Mrs. Mistress is sleep here. Fuck, man. I'm confused. I still uh partying in like 2019? Nah. No, indeed. Uh. All right. That's good. Fucking don't. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Well, fuck. See, that house is the only thing I can fucking possibly do. That sucks. It means I just did it wrong, which is boring. I liked the dynamicism. I liked the choice. And again, it's a demo, okay? This game is not anything like Pathologic 2. It came before the High Respects group. Anything? No. No, 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 okay. Oh, thirst. Thirst is a thing. Wow, look at my stats going down. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it really is just that house. It's that house. It's not like I could sleep to make the time go faster. That's kind of what my problem here is. Either I really just fucking linger around waiting for evening to come, or I go back and I fucking give Shrew the nuts. These are my two choices. That sucks. That massive sucks. Like, fuck. Give me more threads to go off of then. Make m more. Distract me. Fuck with me. Pathologic? This doesn't feel like it's fucking with me. This feels like it's just bad. And not the DLC as a whole, okay? I, I really am loving and enjoying this, but... Seems odd. Just seems fucking weird. Really just like time to pass now. Like, people on the street don't even have things to say. I, I can't go into buildings. I can't... There's nothing to find in the buildings I can go into. Like, give me more options here. I guess, uh, is the idea that I could have saved the master key and then still traded the nuts to Sticky and the master key was actually a master master key and it could open any door until it broke? That's, that's kind of a thought I had after I got done recording, but it's kind of looking like that's the thing now because I just don't understand why they would do this. Why would they make only one fucking thing able to... Why would they make it so that you can only get a lockpick in one way? It just doesn't make sense. It's completely against the grain of their entire fucking game design up until this point. It's very strange. I don't like it. Alright, it's almost, what, six? Yeah, it's almost six at least. That should be evening, right? Right? I don't know. Um, thank God. Thank God. I, I get it. Things are going to shit. Everyone hates me now, but... Ugh. At least we have some fucking progress. Okay. Yup. 
Well, uh, listen, I don't want to say about time, but, uh, about time. What's this? I believe it's wood. Not like anyone can tell now. What were you burning? I mean, it's not best to look, I guess. It's best not to look, I guess. Wood. Logs. For your orders. I ordered you to burn signal fires at suspicious locations. What happened here? Yes, fires. For your orders. You ordered for the fires to burn, didn't you? There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I want to eviscerate people. You're so fucking stupid. Huh? Fucking Christ. What will become of us? Nothing good. Prepare for death. Don't give up. Live as long as you can. Apathy and fear are the deadliest killers. What will become of you? Let me tell you. I'll close my eyes and you'll disappear in smoke like a bad dream. Stop the idiotic questions. Nothing good. Prepare for death. Just prepare for all of it to be done. You've seen them. Rats everywhere. Thousands of rats. What does it mean? It can't be here already, can it? Calm down. It doesn't mean anything yet. I have, I have to think that I almost believe that we may have indeed won. Idiot. Dummy. Big stupid dumb dingus brain. Absolutely. That's you, Daniel. Oh. <laughs> and there it goes. My favorite guy. Oh, Jesus. I have two immunity boosters to do this. No wonder Daniel gets very infected, huh? Right. Well, and I also have no waypoints now. There's just nothing to do. There's no thoughts. Okay. What? Kind Girl wants my misery to end. There's something else to connect to that one, and there's something else to connect to the house. But she would trade nuts for lockpicks, which is the only way to get inside the suspicious house. Behind the locked doors, over the house, someone can hear footsteps. But then True didn't trade me the fucking nuts, even though she said she would probably change her mind. It's a bit annoying if you ask me. What? 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 Why? Don't you fucking da 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 music me, bitch. Oh. Are these the da 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 dats? Really? Oh, dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous, bro. Look at him go. Hey, dum dum. Here it is, Doctor. It finally is. You were right all along. So here we are, standing our watch once again. Wait in your wise orders. It's too late. This is it then. Do I hear delight in your voice, orderly? No. We need to find a way to withstand the outbreak now. Perhaps someone will survive. Nothing is over yet. This is just the beginning. This is what I've been told to relay to you. Told to by whom? Stoneyard was the last clean district. Now everything is surely lost. Told to by whom? Deal and death, bachelor. I have my own sources. Some of them on the other side. Death is a lousy employee. Employee. I'm way too willful a partner. Make sure to thank them, whoever they are, as soon as I get there. Death is a lousy employee and a too fucking asshole a partner. Uh, the town is doomed. The search was pointless. Awesome! Oh, goody fucking gumdrops. Send in my watch, Doctor, as per your instruction. My job is to educate the local populace on the required precaution measures in times of an outbreak. My job is making sure you remember them well, all ears. The local populace keeps roaming the streets without a care in the world. Educating them won't do much. Why do they act as though nothing happened? Understaffed. Can't make them stay in. We can only educate them. Although in my humble opinion, sir, it's all pointless now anyway. Walls won't protect anyone from the pest. Poison air doesn't care about walls, and rats are omnipresent too. Recite the instruction. Immunity is key. This is our main defense. Our tough armor. As long as it's high, there's a chance to escape unscathed. When infection gnaws at it. If it becomes low, we have to take immunity boosters. Only they're unavailable. There were some at the drugstore, and personal stocks too. If you manage to get one. All in all, they're obtainable. It's hard, but doable. Alright, go on. Air itself is dangerous. Or, more to, or to be more precise, the black particles it's filled with are... They are what we, wears out the immunity. However, if you're already infected, it stops being a hazard. When you're infected, you need to keep an eye on... Other things. Such as... Things that exacerbate your condition, obviously. Being touched by infected peoples. The mobile clots of airborne infection. So-called plague breaths. The more infected you are, the faster you're dying. Come on. Indeed, one must pay close attention to their infection level. Lower the better. Hammer this thought into everyone's head. <laughs> okay, this is tutorial shit. Well done. As you were. No, it's not all. You forgot to mention that a person who wants to actually do something needs to stock on painkillers. Morphine reduces pain, giving the illusion of health restoration. And that was temporary. I suppose. Jesus, more fucking tutorial for you? Uh, wh one more thing, sir. Anti-epidemic committee at the Crucible keeps on working, as far as I know. But we're receiving weird, contradictory orders from them. Should we still follow them? What kind of orders? <laughs> to breed cats. To take beds and bunks outside. To put small bells atop graves. To bury the dead in the most notable and visible places. 
Not an hour goes by without them issuing a new guideline. Not insane, I'll check it out. Need all these guidelines were approved by me. Get on with them. I'll check it out. They sound a little crazy. Not gonna lie to you. Hey, pal. What's up? Christmas off limits. Your arc is full. Those who've been taken on board by the judge will probably be saved. As for me, mutt's death is... Mutt's mutt death for a mutt. Sorry. Dying in the street. Oh, well. Ain't worse than dying anywhere. There are other places to seek shelter. Cathedral, for example. Only those who don't bury themselves ahead of time will survive. I just don't fucking care about you, I'm gonna be honest. Just starting to run a little dry on, on this whole on this whole experience, honestly. I mean, if, if the idea is that you're fucked, time is fucked, you know, you just accept that you can't do this, then, you know, you can probably make time move faster than, like, slow as shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. Guys, god damn it. We would kindly suggest that any unauthorized attendants move along before. Move, move along, please. Sorry, but our workload load is tremendous. Who are you? Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Who are you? Here to replace the deceased. Keep tabs on the deceased. Find, find accommodations for the deceased. Take complaints from the deceased. If you'd like to file a complaint, please wait in line for your turn. I'm going insane. Every order and instruction of yours has been carried out with precision. We accept no complaints in regards to ourselves or our predecessors. Not from you. If you feel dissatisfied with anything, you have no one to blame but yourself. Indeed. Beds you've provided for the makeshift hospital are creaky. This will not do. I need to have a good night. <laughs> Indeed. Well, sounds about right. Yep, I fucked everything. Yeah, I told him to burn the wood. I told him to make the hospital. I told him to give it to Sticky. I did it. I did it all. You're correct. Alright, what up? What up, Atrium? Let's go to my hospital, huh? Very nice. Hey, Jingle Dingus. What's up? Voice turned out to be handy, Doctor. The expectations came true. Truly, you have a brilliant mind. I've been asked to remind you of the appointment you have for today's evening. Of course, Mercy, perhaps it'll also go smoothly. Who are you? You've been asked by whom? How do you know my appointments? I'm just standing by my watch. Come, little birds. Gather around the marble nest. Damn you to hell. Damn you to hell. Are all these people just the plague? Uh, that, that is a thing I could understand being a thing. Wow. So the executor cloak completely and totally. Like, uh, wow. Interesting. It, it completely just fucks up the immunity. You don't even get it downed until the, the shit's broken. It's pretty radical. Pretty radical. Uh, she's so sad she stuck her head in the wall. What a guy. Hey, Goose. Time is coming to an end, but that's fine. We'll manage without it just fine. Literally have no appreciation of how the world works. All of you. Insane, disjointed town. It's all been in vain. The plague has gotten to us here. The neck and mallet districts are already poisoned. This is your fault. I did everything I could. <laughs> Damn. Damn, son. That's harsh, Dan. But, you know. Oh, why, why'd you have to go and do that? Well, cool. I have some white whip. What does Dan say about the herbs? A step herb with a bitter odor. Makes my eyes water. A step herb with a spicy odor. Makes my head swim. Interesting. Hey, bud. That was the carrier. Sure was. Makes you think so. Them savages are the root of all evil. Who else could bring their pest with them? Plain as day it is. You imbeciles, he had nothing to do with it. Don't you have enough sins to atone to already? Do you really need one more? It's not like you got much time left. Get lost and go home. Imbeciles. Fucking morons. Good riddance to the plague bearer. He did it. He brought the pest. There's no one else that could have. Should have been their step down down too. Gather the good people in night, light us some torches, and we'll burn it to hell and back. We'll live to see the night, trust me. But doctor... What? For real? Shouldn't have let them here in the first place. That was your doing. We know everything. So no better worm lover. Calm down and get lost or else. Well, all men are mortal. Or else! Ah, uh, I was really hoping I could beat the shit out of him. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, damn. <laughs> Just damn. Just call me Kendrick Lamar's damn. Also, this episode might t come out a little later just because I woke up really late. At, I'm sorry. At least really late compared to what I usually wake up to. At. And it was just a, it's just an issue. I'm sorry. Oh, and this time I will have the hospital. That makes sense. Okay. Well, look at you, Marble Nest. You actually tricked me into making the the intro of of you a little bit. 
It's pretty interesting. I like it. Like it a lot, but uh, there's fucking nothing here, even though they clearly said that a hospital was made here. Whatever. Absolutely whatever. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Like, seriously. What, what do I do now? Do I really just wait? Let's just sit and wait for the fucking world to die? Like, okay, but it's not the very gameplay thing. Oh. You chased me. You are mean. I'll tell you. I kind of feel like fucking Mark right now. I feel like a director. Let's get this goddamn show on the road, huh? It's too much, uh, too much sitting still right now. There's not enough. Oh, okay. Well, Gyorgy's done <laughs> talking to me. So that's nice. Well, fuck it all then. Let's go to the cathedral, I guess. Just wander everywhere, I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Not enjoying this as much as I thought I would. Or as much as I was, even. And now... Now I do not. Goddamn, cathedral's closed too. So everywhere is closed. I can't go into the fucking houses. I can't talk to people. What am I playing right now? Like, this is this is exactly, all right, verbatim, what I was trying uh, a long time ago. I was trying to explain why Pathologic would just not be effective as a walking simulator, as a game where you kind of do nothing but experience the world and see it. Like, no. <laughs> you have to live it. You have to feel the pain. You have to feel the the compromise of your choices. Otherwise, it kind of just draws up a flat experience, which is kind of what this is at this point. Like, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. Like, I should just fucking stop playing. And... Because... And end the game. Like, there's no reason to keep playing the game now. I don't know. Maybe if I went back to Shrew, it would have been better? Like... I don't know. I just don't know. And, oh, I can go back in the drugstore? Why? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Can't open these doors. No. I mean, I'm pretty sure I looted everything anyway, but... Again, I mean, I have nothing else to fucking do with my life. <laughs> That's where the panacea was, and this thing. Huh. <laughs> it's Africa. Anyway, um, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? I don't know what, what the meaning of this is. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah, do you think? I don't care. Well, guys, I'm gonna, I mean, I don't want to end this episode here. I'd like there to be a better fucking conclusion, but I just don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, was I really supposed to just go back and trade my nuts to Shrew the minute I realized that Sticky didn't have a lockpick? Like, was that really the course of action? Or, or is this an inevitability? Just wandering around the districts, doing fuck all nothing and dying. Like, it's just not what I want to spend my time doing. I'd rather be playing Pathologic HD right now. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Fuck you, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed the Marble Nest. I don't know if I'll continue it. I mean, I haven't seen the ending, but... I don't know that I care. I'm going to be honest. If it's just, oh... Daniel dies, and, you know, Daniel can't cure the plague on his own. Who could have guessed? I don't feel like that's adding that much to my pathologic experience, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I, I've really appreciated playing as Daniel, getting his insight on some things, and uh, getting a feel for his character a bit more, but... I don't know. It doesn't seem entirely necessary that I see a conclusion to this specific story. Seems... seems like a, a story of futility. This specific spot just activates this music. That's exactly what it does. Great. <laughs> yeah? Or is it you? Okay, it might be you. Oh shit, man. This is an intense chase. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God, the fucking gross, dude. It's disgusting. You know what? With, with all that said, give me a handshake, buddy. Give me a hug. I love you. I can't punch you. I wish I could just murder you. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is what you do, huh? Infected. I feel like that was maybe a thing I was supposed to do. Oh! The night has come. And you are uninterested. It's time for me to return home. The presence is expected. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm not ending the episode, huh? Ah, yes. The rats and the bells. Ah, and the crows. I don't like the crows as much. Oh, and there goes my favorite scream! Oh, God, I love that that thing is everywhere. What the fuck, man? Those are some heavy crow noises. Not into it, all right? Just not into it at all. Oh, really, Herb Bride? Is that correct? I didn't get another piece of toast from Sticky, but that's... 
Fine. <laughs> hey, girl. Did you come to pay respects? Pay respects? To who? What's going on? Who are these people? To whom? You aren't a local, are you? No, I'm not. I mean, I want to have some sleep. No, I'm not. Daniel Dankowski, a doctor from the capital, passed away in his house an hour ago. Would you like to come in to pay respects? Please, rituals are very important for the local crowd. The local crowd needs to check their fact better. I am Daniel Dankowski. Clock is running fast. Let me in. Uh, uh, I mean, I am an actor. Yeah, I'm not really Daniel. It's kind of a T, but... Mmm, mm, death. Where beeth you? Upstairs, I think. Oh, they're knocking on the door. Ain't hey, just time I began, eh, dope? Again, what? It's all over now. We're done. Well, what can one do? Bodies need to be moved around. That requires free hands. See, doc, the uh, people came seeking your help. You weren't here, so, well, what can one do? And move the bodies wherever they need moving. Number 12. Be my gust. I, I guess. I, I suppose. I guess that is the correct choice to make. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> oh! Oh, really? I can never open this door. Oh, it's because it's where the cow lives, of course. Oh. Your face is in the curtains, my friend. You should probably get that checked out. Hi, Aspidy. What's up? Most importantly, don't be scared. Go in without fear. Concentrate on yourself. Am I dying? You need to push your limits. You're shackled now, caged. Defy the laws of this cage. Easier said than done. Yeah, right. The body is a prison. Everything is but an illusion. Spare me the cliche preaching, will you? That's not what I meant. In any case, don't you think this idea is cliched precisely because so many people have come to realize its truthfulness? I don't really have a choice. You've heard my words. Now you need to understand how they apply to you personally. You alone. I think I was hoping you could offer some real help. Indeed. I'm alone. <sighs> Poor Dan. So sad. Plague. So, Bachelor Dankowski, the founder of Thanatica, a lab where you've been fruitlessly trying to solve the problem of human mortality for too many years. The tragic sand plague fighter. Are you ready to die? Go on, I like how you're listing my achievements. More, please. Enough! You've had enough time to put yourself and your actions in perspective. Your thoughts keep coming back to your very last day time and again, as if you were trying to fix something, but in reality, you're lying here, delirious, clinging to the naive hope that this terrible house is a product of your imagination. A prophetic nightmare. You're trying to tell me that when the boy woke me up. So the kids were right. Yes, the kids grew very fond of you. They keep vigil over your body, even fighting over the privilege of fetching water for you. The girl is the only one smart enough to realize that it's time your torture ended. But adults always underestimate children. I think they are more intelligent, and you are no exception. Keep vigil over my body, what do you mean? You once again refused to, to die and plunged into a new loop of your deathbed derangement. Everything but this house is a product of your imagination, but now you're finally coming to. There's only one step left to make to, make to leave the illusion behind and embrace reality. I'm afraid I'll have to be insistent. So I repeat, are you ready to die? Give me a moment. I need to collect my thoughts. Do that. Thinking is never inappropriate. Oh god! The judge believes that the epidemic is a sort of, a, of an exam, testing one's ability to become superhuman. Aspidy, the stepwoman, claims that as long as we understand where death leads to, keep on living. In the morning, you told me that you're not unlike a law of nature, a rule, so to speak, of this world. Could you please remind me, though, which rules exactly were we playing by? Uh, which rules were we playing by? What on earth? I deny you the right to exist. I'm the one in control. You're not death. You're merely a puppet. It was I who brought you to life. It was I who will end it. Are you ready to die, B-Kid? Touché. Bravo, Bachelor. Or are you? It's hard to tell who exactly talks to me from the other side of the glass. But it comes with some mask. Anyway, what do you plan to do now? Solve the same problem in my real life. When the time comes, just live on. Rest in peace. Don't know. I haven't decided yet. 
Thank you kindly for the enlightening conversation. The laws we think are think immutable are false. The laws of nature that dictate morality, the laws of games we play. Well done. One doesn't have to follow them indefinitely. Rules are made to be changed. Hmm, I like that. I did like that ending, actually. I'm really glad I finished this, because <laughs> that would have been pathetic. Oh my god. See you later, guys. An hour later, the marble nest is over. <sighs> well, that was really interesting. It did get a little slow at the end there, and it seemed like the time did not need to be moving as slow as it was, which I think was more for the stat scaling than anything else. But I really enjoyed that, and it gave me a nice little insight into, you know, uh, his Daniel's character. I, l I like seeing his little face there. I'm gonna be honest, I do like seeing his little face right there. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'll see you in Pathologic HD.